Toastmasters and guests. It was 1968, and I was in a full body cast for over a year and a half, recovering from spinal surgery. But then the cast was finally taken off. I graduated from high school at home. I used to wear these enormous robes to accommodate the cast and shoes that were only sneakers and my hair in a ponytail. Consequently, I decided I needed to do something really big to bring myself back into the world. So I decided, even in my dreams, I was looking for this outfit, this perfect outfit. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. I was a gymnast, track star. I didn't have any dresses. I didn't have any stockings. My hair was always worn in a ponytail, but most of all, I didn't own a pair of high heel shoes. So I decided that's where the red shoes would come in. Anita, every time I think of these red shoes, I have flashbacks of what happened then and the incident after. But those red shoes gave me so much more. They gave me a gift. So, cast was off. And I was looking for that new outfit. And I was wondering, where could I buy this? All these things that I needed. Jamaica Avenue, Queens, New York. Does anyone come from New York? Do you remember Queens? I went to Jamaica Avenue. They called on the Avenue. I could get anything I needed there. It would take a few trips. But I could do this. Would you want to take some bus trips with me? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, the first week I'm out, I'm taking the bus and I'm looking for the dress. Oh, check it out. I see this dress. It is gold and paisley print. It has a rounded collar in at the waist, form fitting, big bell sleeves goes in at the wrist and falls gently on the hand. So I have the first piece of the outfit. The second week, I'm looking for those stockings. I'm on the bus again. When I get to Jamaica Avenue, I remember the stockings I had were either gray or beige, or they looked like I had anemia from the top of my thigh to the bottom of my toe. <laughs> At the end of the day, I needed stockings. But they have this new, this new name. It's called French coffee that as they say in Brooklyn, make your legs feel like butter. <laughs> so I have number two of my outfit. That same week, I figure out what I'm gonna do with my below the shoulder length hair. I buy 50 hard pink rollers. Do you remember those rollers, ladies? I put them straight up in my head. Every surface was covered. And then I went to sleep. I woke up. They were hanging from my head. I was discombobulated. <laughs> I literally had rollers on my head, rollers on the bed, rollers on the floor. They were all over the place. But ladies, I had it. curls all over my head. So I had number three to my outfit. Back on Jamaica Avenue again. This time I'm looking for those shoes. And like lightning, I see the most beautiful pair of red suede shoes I have ever seen. They're the same crimson red as in my dress. They have a round toe, and they're, okay, four to six inches high. I've never walked in a pair of high heels in my life, but I will be. So, one morning, I'm at the bus stop with this whole outfit and the shoes that I could not walk in. <laughs> and as we're filing in, I turn around the corner and I put my foot up on the step and so pow! I went in like a pancake. And the bus driver says, hey, lady, I'm gonna be late. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I moved the cross from my face. Put my dress back down. I pick my pocketbook up and I take the shoe that was in the step and I put it back on my foot. And I'm on the floor, I'm looking for my token. Lady, 
we gotta go. And he gestures for me to go to the back. And I'm thinking, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna go to the back. I'm gonna sit right here in the first seat on the left. And I'm going back, because I'm feeling the negative Gs, because he's going at least 80 miles an hour. Are there any Air Force people in here? <laughs> at the end of the day, I start to wonder what had just happened. At the end of the day, I learned that those shoes gave me a gift. And the gift was on those shoes, a gift of laughter. That day, I learned the ability to laugh at myself, not take myself so seriously, and that life was a good laugh. And that is the story of my red shoes. <laughs>